Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the X3 series from Body Helix. Similar to the X2 series, these come in the light version and the pro version. Now the only difference between the X2 series and the X3 series is the surface. While the X2 series used a raw carbon fiber surface, the X3 uses a dynamic Kevlar blend of Kevlar and carbon fiber, similar to what Pickleball Apes introduced with the ProLine Energy S. The X3 Lite is 16.5 inches in length, 7.5 inches in width, has a 16mm thick polypropylene core, and the handle is 6 inches long, but it also has a sharper taper at the throat compared to many other paddles on the market, which makes the actual usable handle length just a tad bit over 6 inches. The X3 Pro has all the same dimensions as the light version, except for the core, which is 18mm thick, and is similar to what you see on the Diadem Warrior and the Pro Drive Drive. A triple layer core, where one layer of Nomex is sandwiched in between two layers of polypropylene cores, but we'll get into that later and discuss the X3 Lite first. As mentioned earlier, the X3 Lite is a 16mm curved elongated paddle that has a hybrid Kevlar and carbon fiber surface, so I'm going to compare it a bit to the Pickleball Apes ProLine Energy S. In my review of the ProLine Energy S, I said it had a plush feel to it that reminded me of an in-between of a Gen 1 control paddle and a more powerful Thermoform Gen 2 paddle. It was also slightly higher in swing weight at 118 for a hybrid paddle because it was just a tad bit longer at 16.4 instead of the usual 16.3 inches of length. Now in comparison, the X3 Lite is even higher in swing weight at 126 because it's not a hybrid paddle but fully elongated, but it also seems to have a weight distribution closer to the head of the paddle. In terms of power on drives, the X3 is higher than the ProLine Energy S because that longer handle allows for extra torque when hitting shots and because of its higher swing weight. As for the surface, the two are somewhat close because they both have softer feels to them than carbon fiber paddles, but I think the ProLine Energy S noticeably has a more plush feel to it, and I think the X3 Lite is more poppy. Also, because of the longer handle of the X3 and the sharper throat taper, there's less paddle surface area overall, and I do think that when you hit the two side by side, there's slightly less forgiveness and stability compared to the Apes paddle. This does make sense, since the twist weight of the Apes paddle is 6.34, while the X3 Lite is rather low at 6.01. Overall, the X3 Lite is solid, and I would describe it as a harder hitting ProLine Energy S with a longer handle, but with just a little bit less forgiveness and maneuverability. Now onto the X3 Pro. This is a different feeling paddle from the X3 Lite version. For starters, the swing weight of this is 6 points higher at 130, and the twist weight is also higher at 6.61. The feel is reminiscent of the ProDrive Carbon Paddle, since they're both thermoform paddles that utilize the triple core of Nomex in the middle. I personally think it's a better version of the ProDrive Carbon Paddle, mainly because the swing weight is more manageable. The ProDrive I tested did have a more solid feel and a larger sweet spot than the X3 Pro, but its swing weight is also 5 points higher at 135, which I found to be way too high for my comfort. The X3 Pro is also still pretty high at 130, which for reference is just a tad bit higher than the head-heavy Yola Hyperion, but I think it's definitely more manageable than the Pro Drive, and there is a market out there that wouldn't mind the swing weight. As for how it plays, the Nomex in the core makes it more poppy and powerful than the X3 Lite, and the thicker core also gives it more forgiveness and stability than it. That thick core combined with the Kevlar blend makes the paddle more plush feeling than both the X2 Pro and Pro Drive Carbon, but the Nomex in the middle still gives this paddle good pop, and I would classify this as a power paddle. Lastly, for the spin, both paddles are on the high end. I didn't notice a big difference between the two versions or when compared to other thermoform paddles, so there's nothing special to note there. Both the X3 Lite and Pro paddles are definitely interesting paddles that aren't too expensive. They're both on the slower side to swing with their higher swing weights, but both have a nice feel from the dynamic Kevlar blend surface and are great for drives with their longer handle. The X3 Lite retails for $160 or $142 after a discount code, and I would recommend this paddle more to players as it's more familiar feeling for a thermoform paddle, but it has a, its slight difference from that Kevlar blended surface and longer handle that have it stand out a bit. Meanwhile, the X3 Pro is slightly more expensive at $180 or $162 after a discount code, and I think this is the more exciting of the two paddles, but its higher swing weight makes it a bit harder to recommend. However, if you are okay with it, I personally think that this is an upgrade of the ProDrive Carbon paddles and worth checking out if you did want a quicker version of them. 
I wouldn't consider the X3s an upgrade over the X2 series, but more of a side grade. If you like a stiffer feel, go for the X2s, but for a softer feel, check out the X3s. If you do want to pick up any paddles from Body Helix, I've added links and my discount code that will get you 10% off your order from the Body Helix website.